our Adina Menzel item in the show. So, Jen, I know you're a big time fan of this one. Are you thinking heels with this or are you thinking sneakers with this? Okay, all right, Jen's going team sneaker. All right, so I'm putting the sneakers back on. Um, so she's going to do jeans when she grabs this tonight. She's going to do her sneakers when she grabs this tonight. So maybe in a minute I'll switch heels and you can all see how you prefer it. But come on in and take a look at this one first because $33 makes this half off. We're going to save $36 now, so technically a little bit more than half off. Easy pay is $6.66. Adina Menzel. If I could sing, I would sing her name to you all, but I can't. As in... Elsa, as in Broadway, I saw this woman in Rent and she forever changed my life. Maybe you know her from Wicked. Maybe you know her from her movie career. But either way, she is responsible for designing this sweater. She has a wonderful line here. You can check it all out on our website, qbc.com. I have a little lounge outfit from her that I wore all around the holiday and obviously live in it now to this day. But this we wanted to put in the show because it's the perfect example of how you wear a sweater now but how you wear one in March and April and May. So this will get a little tank or a little tee or a button down under it and then in summertime you just put it over your tank tops and you've got all that air ventilation. It's all done in a mixed stitch so we can go over that in a minute because the sleeve will look different than one side of the sweater versus the neckline. It's pretty darn cool. This is it in the color by the name of Oyster, which is your off-white color. A really pretty pink. We titled this one Dusty Pink, but my gosh, that's like a gorgeous mauve choice. Almost like a rose color. Here's your jet black. And then I have a very, very limited option awaiting for you on .com. Wine. Now maybe the wine is more of a wear now and not so much aware later, but if you want to wear wine in April and May, I'm not here to stop you. But I do think the black, the oyster that I'm going to put on, and then of course that dusty pink, oh, great spring colors. So as I climb into this, I have officially decided that acrylic is one of my favorite things in the world. I don't know if it beats pizza. Pizza's probably still the number one favorite thing in the world of mine, but acrylic is kind of right up there with it. So this is so, incredibly soft. Anytime you add acrylic to the fabric, that's what was in that cute little, you know, $20 sweatshirt that we loved so much tonight, hundreds of orders placed, that had acrylic in it. So acrylic makes everything feel wonderful. Now this is a little bit more of an uh, oversized sweater. I'm gonna give you a recommendation, and you know how I always say you don't have to pay attention, you don't have to like take my word for it? You do in this case. Don't hang this. It's got that um, texture, and because of the um, acrylic and the cotton, I just think that you're gonna stretch it out if you end up putting it on a hanger. So fold this one. I have a not so pretty closet at home. You know, I always joke that my money is spent on the clothes that go in the closet. My money was not spent on a designer closet, right? So I have like a giant stack of sweaters. And it might not be attractive when you walk into my closet, but I'll tell you, it saves those sweaters from kind of growing in time, like all my barefoot dreams folded over there, really anything. Don't hang your sweaters, all right? So that's, I'm off my soapbox, I'm not gonna say it anymore, but I just wanna make sure you know that. So when we say mixed stitch, do you see all the differences? So there's a ribbing around your wrist, there's one stitch on the arm, one stitch on the sweater, then you've got this seam that's really kind of three-dimensional, and then more ribbing around the hem of the sweater. And it does feel like this is a great time to order your regular QVC size. I don't think I would play around sizing down with this one. I also would not play around sizing up with this one because you don't want this one to be oversized. Unless again, that's how you absolutely love all of your clothes to be, but it's meant to kind of stay going against the skin. Now, machine wash, dry flat, it does have this beautiful v-neck, so if you're not feeling the t-shirt on under it, I just honestly did that because I didn't feel like taking off the t-shirt for time's sake. Um, you don't have to do that, but I think it's nice. And what if you do, if you have this, don't go out and buy one, but like, what if you do a turtleneck under it? I cannot stress enough 
The button down shirt under sweaters right now, it's everywhere. When I told you I ran to the mall the other day to substitute it <laughs> as form of exercise, I figured I would just walk and get inspired for spring so that I could really just start seeing what's really hip and what's out there. Well, I can tell you right now, the button down shirt under sweaters, it was in every single store. So do your button down under this, do your turtlenecks under this, and then later on do your t-shirts. And then if you want to get more use out of this when weather warms around, I have a sweater that this reminds me of that I bought last year from Q, Girl with Curves. And I put um, a white rib tank under it so that I can wear it throughout summer. And then I'm not going to lie, sometimes I have to shrug the sleeve on a really warm day, but it gives you that like fun summertime vibe. I wear it with a fedora. It's a really cute summertime look. A518984. This is Oyster. This is Dusty Pink, and this is Black, A518984. All right, stay on the phone lines for that. So did you know that sandal season is coming up? Well, it